Thanks again, guys, for waiting for me. My name is Georgiana Haynes, and I am going to be sharing our Ants Team live training with you guys, weekly training here on this channel. So um, if it's your first time, welcome, and I again apologize for my tardiness. Um, hashtag don't be tardy for the party. But uh, <laughs> all right, guys, so um, let's get started since we're behind already. But um, why don't we share our wins for the week in the chat box, whether you're on your phone or your computer or your tablet. We like to share our wins for the week here. And we've been talking, especially this year, about um, sort, of, sort of a con continuation from last year. We're just always talking about sharing goals and the importance of goal setting. And now with the new years, you know, we are all working on setting new goals. So um, we're working on our new goals, we're making our plans, and um, if you missed it last week, we were talking about some of the initial steps to starting to set your goals. And then this week, we're going to be continuing on that, and I'm going to be sharing some tips for building your business. So um, if you haven't missed last week, there is a replay available on YouTube. Feel free to um, hop on over to my channel, and there you can see the, um, the videos from last week. Also, be sure to subscribe, because then you'll be able to see all the videos that I post um, as they come out so you don't have to worry about missing a, uh, a weekly broadcast. So um, before I really dive in, there is some house cleaning, housekeeping. Um, for those of you who are representatives, I kind of just want to remind you that tomorrow we will we're going to be doing, uh, well, Avon HQ is going to be doing the um, Espira um, Q&A, so be sure to hop on over to that tomorrow. Um, this new launch of the Espira line, you guys, um, if you've been following my channel or this page, you've been seeing that I've been talking about all of the different products I've been testing out um, and trying for myself, um, but the Espira line is a brand new line that we're having in addition to our usual makeup, beauty, skincare, um, fashion, jewelry, home, good, like Avon is just taking over the world and I'm all for it. So um, be sure to, to check out the Aspira launch, well the Aspira line um, and be sure to check, hop in on the webinar. I have, I literally have Aspira everywhere in my house because I was working on the videos but I'm just like everywhere I turn there's something for Aspira. But uh, <laughs> it's all good because I, I mean I'm liking all of the different products. So uh, who here has tried any of the Aspira products? Right now Avon is doing the um, Aspira challenge. I, I'm in my what, second week now? Yeah, started end of last year. I'm in my second week um, and I've shared with you a few of the videos that I did. I finished the ideal cleanse and I moved on from there but I, I posted and shared some of my um, experiences, my experiences with Aspira, but uh, <laughs> I've been sharing some of my experiences with um, the products and my experience with the ideal cleanse. So I'm seeing a lot of likes and love come across in the chat box. So I'm going to take that to mean that you guys are liking Aspira, that you're trying the products and that at least you've heard of it. Sorry, wind has been the temperature has been really low here in the U.S., but uh, here in New York, but um, I've been just dry physically and <laughs> like internally. I feel like I, I'm, I'm not moisturized properly. So you guys know I'm drinking the Skin So Soft, the Moisture Therapy. The um, This is actually an old lip balm. I literally have lip balms lying everywhere around in my house, but this is um, the Sweet Spring Lip Balm from way back in the day, but I kind of just keep it around so that when I'm talking in my office space, whether I'm, I'm doing videos or I'm doing phone calls, I always get like dry and, you know, it's nice to just have some chapstick to just throw on there, but love this stuff. Um, <laughs> I have it in all kinds of crevices all over my room, but anyway, I digress, um, ha hashtag squirrel brain. Um, so yeah, Aspira is going to be doing a, I mean, Avon is going to be doing a uh, talk tomorrow on Aspira, be sure to check in on that. We also have our um, monthly Avon um, HQ training, our sales meeting coming up. So I believe that's going to be next week, the 16th. Um, for some reason, I feel like I saw the 23rd somewhere, but I know it's usually like the third Tuesday of the month. Um, but I'm going to have to check. If you guys know in the chat box, if you have access to your email, I saw it come out earlier this week. Um, just so I could let you guys know whether or not we are meeting here on our um, on our ANSI live training next week, Tuesday, here, or if we're going to be jumping on for Avon HQ. Um, if you give me a second, I can actually pull up my email and let you know. But hey, Janae, Miss Lisa, Miss Kathleen, 
<laughs> Welcome. Thank you for, for joining me and coming on to chat with me. Um, hmm, let's see. New fashion, new excitement. You're Avon. Oh, yes. So Avon has this brand new, um, um, line that's going to be coming out in, um, campaign four. Another, so, so, okay. Blown away. Aspira comes out in campaign three. And then we start our um, spring co collection with our caps Avon's first capsule collection. Um, so I have you guys, I, I think I've shared with you guys some of the things that I've liked, or was I just talking to Jess? But, um, you know, fashion, we're already into spring already. I could barely, I was just complaining about how cold I am, but we're, we're diving into spring already. So um, we are going to be launching our very first capsule collection. Um, and that's the Savannah Blooms collection love that the coat the little coats that Avon has the dresses the shoes I am a sucker for ballet flats so I, I love the um the Dorsey flats that Avon did a few seasons ago I bought multiples and destroyed them because I am terribly destructive whether you know regardless of what I'm wearing but um <laughs> but um, the shoes, the bags, um, the little home good collections. They have these cute little matching floral plates with the floral bags and the floral dresses. I'm just like, I'm not a flower person, but I was like, Michael Sensback has me trying all kinds of patterns that I've never tried before. So shout out to <laughs> the fashion crew. Um, but let's see. Um, so, nope, that's not it. Yes, virtual January sales meeting, January 16th. So that is next week. Um, so be sure to hop onto that. So Avon HQ is going to be having their sales meeting next week, Tuesday. Be sure to get on that so that, um, you could, you know, stay on top of and in touch with all the amazing stuff that's happening because we're like going campaign by campaign. Like I remember when I first started, there was like a huge campaign, a huge launch every quarter. So there's a huge launch in like, um, October, November, and then you want to see another one until like February. And now it's like back to back. So we're doing campaign three, Aspira, campaign four, capsule collection, campaign five. Oh, shout out to my Avon representatives, all the reps that are in the catalog. I believe it's campaign five, Miss Arinthia, Miss Natasha, um, all of you guys who are looking so amazing. Miss Arinthia is gracing the cover of the catalog. She looks so good. I was just like, oh, it's another representative. So shout out to Miss Arinthia and all the other reps who were featured in the catalog. I love these catalogs. So I mean, I'm going through the what's new and every single campaign I am like there's something new and there's something exciting and there's something that I can spot different customers you know you see you know your customers so you see stuff in the catalog and you're like okay so and so is gonna love this this person is gonna love that and personally I am like hashtag take my money thank you that I get my 25 to 40 percent discount because otherwise it would be a wrap but uh all these new items that are coming out I am in love with all of them so you guys, let me know what you guys are excited about. What are you um, looking forward to this coming spring? I know a lot of us, after the, the storms that we've had in the Northeast, we're already just like winter goodbye. Let's just dive right into spring. I'm one of you. And I am one of the people, I am, my family is like, but I'm one of those people who actually like winter weather. I don't know. I like the socks and the stockings, but... I'm ready for spring and I am ready for this Savannah Blooms collection. So, um, wins. So let's get going with our wins for the week, guys. Um, uh, if you can hear me and if you can see me, you should be typing your wins for the week, especially nowadays with cell phones. You just put that little microphone button and then, you know, talk into it and it'll type out what you want. So there's no excuse. So we were talking about the importance of setting your goals and making sure that your, your action steps line up with your goals last week so you guys we should have wins things that we're celebrating um and things that we are um we are you know just proud of within our business because if you don't have that then you know what are we what are we doing this for if it's not enjoyable then like what's the point right i always tell representatives like people will meet me when we're doing events in the field and i laugh and i joke and i have fun and they're like oh well you know you're just not the stereotypical salesperson you're not pushy you're you know you're kind of you're, you're really friendly you must love your job and I'm like yeah because if I didn't love it then why would I do it <laughs> so <laughs> be excited about your 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 business your dreams and goals and we are in a brand new year fresh start for 2018 so you should be encouraged now 
I have a couple of wins that I want to share and I feel like a part of me was like, you know, should I pick one to share because I kind of wanted to share all of them. But, uh, <laughs> and then I said, you know what, maybe I should space them out so that I have wins that I can share over the next couple of weeks. But I'm like, you know what, each week is going to get better and better. So why not celebrate the wins that I have for this week? And then next week will be, you know, or the week after, because we do have sales meeting next week. Next week or the week after, we'll have, I'll actually have two wins the next week. So for the next training. So um, the things that I'm celebrating, first and foremost, um, Jessica Z and I, shout out to Jessica Z. I didn't see her on the chat. She might be busy, but, um, Jessica Z and I are working on something called Avon Calling. So we released our two videos last week. Um, we had a little promo that I kind of, um, we, we gave you a sneak preview of a few weeks ago. Actually, no, last week, this time. So exactly a week ago. And then on Friday, we launched Avon Calling. So if you haven't already, be sure to, first and foremost, subscribe to both of our channels and then um, watch the videos that we posted. We did interviews. We both interviewed each other. So we shared a little bit of our Avon story. So this is meant to um, be encouraging to those of you who are representatives who maybe you haven't reached your goals yet. Um, maybe you're just starting out and you're... Um, just getting to know the business, getting to know the company. Maybe you're you're taking a second look at your business and thinking to yourself, you know, is this something that I can do? Um, is this going to work out for me? Or maybe you're looking at your 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 current situation. Maybe you've been here for a while and you're like, you know what? I haven't seen the progress of the growth that I wanted to see so far. Is you know, and you're at that crossroads where you're like, should I stay or should I go? Watch these videos because these are going to be encouraging for you. You're going to see. Um, us share our stories, regular reps, just like you, you know, still striving to build our business and get to the levels that we want to get to. And we're going to share some of the things that keep us motivated, some of the things that excite us, some tips and tricks um, that we, we've we used over the, the, um, the course of our business to get engaged, stay encouraged, and to um, move forward in our businesses. So both Jessica Z and I are both sharing our stories in a, a Q&A type of, of setting. So, um, you know, be sure, watch, like, subscribe, comment, but <laughs> most importantly, let us know what you think, what kind of things you would like to hear or, or see or know about so that we could be helpful for you because we, we got together to do this for you guys. It's not just, I mean, we, that I can actually count as a second one, but I've been so encouraged myself by hearing Jessica's story um, and, you know, being able to, to talk and bounce ideas off of her, but also to even hear that there are, are other representatives because sometimes you know um, things aren't perfect and you sometimes struggle to to reach the, your goals and dreams and I, I know we come out on here every week and we celebrate the wins but I don't want you guys to feel like it's all wins and all roses sometimes they're setbacks and I, I try to share those with you guys to let you know that um, it's it's a series it's like you know waves they're ups and downs but you know you focus on the ups because the downs will pass because there's another up on the way so um just to be able to to sit and talk with the sister representative to um hear the things that we had in common when we were starting out with be it lack of experience or um um a mindset when it came to success and we want to share that with you guys to impart um not just like you know hard knowledge like you know this is what you do to build your business give out brochures talk to people but to impart the soft side of the business the, the the more human side so you can get a feel for what it's like to you know experience the day to day and how do you overcome those obstacles i always tell my team and i always tell representatives the for me at least the biggest um make or break thing in your business is not um whether or not there are enough customers in your area or whether or not there are enough there are other representatives in your area or um you know how many people in your family will purchase from you and we we have all these things in our minds that are reasons why we usually it's reason why we're not going to succeed at this but i always say that the make or break for success is your mindset and if you put it in your head that you're going to fail guess what you know, self-fulfilling pro prophecy. But if you put in your mind that you're going to succeed, that you're going to build a bigger business, if you, that you're going to move forward and have growth and success. And if you look at 
each opportunity, even the failures, as something that's getting you closer and closer to your goal, moving you forward in your walk, then um, you know it changes your perspective on your business, and eventually you will see that success. And um, you know, just talking to Jessica, I was really like, wow, there are so much like little things, little sentiments that we had in common that um, even when we were we were getting started in the beginning, um, through. I don't want to say like, you know, through those difficulties, like, you know, troubles have gone, <laughs> there's still problems, there's still things that we're, we're working to overcome. But, you know, even in the beginning, you know, the, the, the quest for customers, the, um, the, the, the search to find other pe other like-minded individuals who are also interested in building their business. We all go through that and we all, you know, try to figure it out. Not everyone makes it in six months. Not everyone, you know, hits the top level in a year. There are, you know, we have different work situations, different life situations, but, you know, we're all moving at our own pace and that is okay. So we're doing this series to show you guys, you know, um, real people. <laughs> just like you you know we're going through the same exact stuff um and to help you find hopefully common ground where you could watch and say okay yeah i've been through that i get that or oh like i had this moment talking to her so many times like oh, me too <laughs> so we want to get you to see those oh, me too moments and um use them to say you know what if they're going through it then you know and and i'm going through it first and foremost there's going to be an end to what I'm going through. There is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And also, you know, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not broken. I'm not doing this business wrong because I have, um, because I'm, I'm working through some stuff. That is life. Um, so check out Avon Calling. Um, subscribe to my channel and Jessica's channel. Her channel is Makeup Maven Jessica. Um, she's also here on Facebook. I will post links. And if you follow the links in, um, in my page below, you'll find both of our videos and be able to watch. So, um, yeah, I was really excited about Avon Calling launching last week, Friday. Um, I was really, really excited about that. But, uh, <laughs> so that was my first win. Um, secondly, my second win, what was my second win? I, I'm so excited about that first win. I completely forgot the second win. Um, completing the first part of the Aspira Challenge. You guys know I am not... Uh, a healthy eating, health food type of person, but um, to to go through that ideal cleanse and sort of see the impact that it had on my my body and um, and my skin and how I felt. Um, first of all, I was excited. I was excited because I was like, okay, great. These are awesome products that work that we're going to be able to share with our customers. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a little trepidation, like, okay, new line, new product. Okay, we're, we're going to be sharing this with customers. Um, hopefully it works, you know? <laughs> so I've been using the products. We've been using them since RepFest, but um, this was a, a new section of the product. So every time I get something new to try, I'm like, okay, great. This works. This tastes good. <laughs> this is, you know, I, I'm just um, reinforcing what we've been hearing because we've been talking about it for months. And now it's finally here and it, it's exciting to um, to see it and be a part of it. So I did my first entry into the Aspira Challenge. So if you haven't already or if you haven't yet, be sure to jump on over to Avon USA Representatives. Um, they do have a competition that is going on, a competition, a contest, I should say, for um, representatives only. So you could take the challenge, the, the hashtag Aspira Challenge, take the challenge, um, try out the products, post your, your pictures and your, um, you know, how you've seen the products affect you in your life, enter to win. Um, good fun. Avon actually has quite a few, like, competitions on its, its page, both both for Avon and for Avon U USA representatives. So if you're not following, I don't know, you know, what you're doing. So get on that. Uh, <laughs> Anitra, hey girl, how are you? And happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> Anitra said, how is the vanilla shake? I'll be honest with you. I think the vanilla shake is my favorite. Um, this is, I think this is the chocolate. Yeah, this is the chocolate. Um, I've actually just finished my first tub, like tub of the vanilla this morning um the chocolate is good but i find that it's easier for me to find different things to mix with the vanilla what i do is i use it in my smoothies in the morning i'll blend up vegetables this is like my only intake of vegetables i'm working on it though but i'll blend up some veggies some fruit um and avon 
actually has a couple of re recipes on its website and I was excited to see that they had like that strawberries and cream because that was the first one I thought of when I saw vanilla I was like hmm what kind of smoothie can I make strawberries and cream duh so I put together a banging strawberries and cream <laughs> smoothie this morning I did peaches and cream I did like a peach and vanilla um I always throw in a couple of carrots because like I said I'm not big on vegetables so um maybe a little bit of kale so and um some dates to give it that sweetness but um Miss Anitra I gotta say vanilla all the way big fan of the vanilla the chocolate I like in um I'll do like a coffee smoothie. I've, I've already found ways to break the system, right? But <laughs> I'll do, um, I like the chocolate in like what I call breakfast smoothies with where they're more like a hot smoothie. Um, I, I usually put like some um, almond milk, some oatmeal, a little bit of warm water to just make it warm. I feel like the oatmeal needs a little bit of heat to, um, to get soft. I, I don't like it. I don't like cold oatmeal. So I usually use oatmeal in my warm smoothies. Um, and then I'll put in the chocolate a little bit of um, of coffee or cacao. Um, and if that's not sweet enough, I'll put some apples or some dates. Oh, please. You guys have to try an apple smoothie with the chocolate protein powder and the um, a little bit of cinnamon. That's like That has been my go-to for the winter for quite a while. Oh, and some oatmeal. So some oatmeal, some apples, some cinnamon. If you're feeling feisty, throw in a little bit of ginger and some allspice. I call it like a pumpkin spice smoothie. I should do like a recipe post, shouldn't I? But uh, Miss Anitra, don't get me talking about food. Miss Gina's gonna come on here and yell at me. <laughs> Um, yeah, vanilla is my favorite, but chocolate is pretty good too. Um, and um, <laughs> they're both really good. Um, so they've gotten me to. I've been using protein powders in my smoothies for a while. Um, I used to, you know, get them from elsewhere. Now I'm like, eight months sells it. So that's where I'll be going from now on. And it tastes good. So that's a bonus. Plus, you know, the products, the ingredients, I should say, are pronounceable. Most of them. Um, I should, I didn't want to do a, didn't mean to do a, a an Aspira, <laughs> an Aspira call today, but, um, yeah, when you read the ingredients, it's all, like, single word stuff for the most part. Um, a little proprietary enzyme blend, amino acid infused protein blend, pea protein, artichoke protein, organic sprouted aromat powder, organic sprouted quinoa powder so it's like it's real food <laughs> inside this not just chemicals that's why I kind of feel good about doing it but um Anitra have you tried them yet if not which one do you want to try first and for the rest of you guys have you gotten onto this Aspira Aspira cleanse um and have you have been have you been doing the Aspira challenge and have you been trying the Aspira products and if so share with us you know what's your favorite um, the protein powder, I would have to say, is my number one favorite, and following closely behind that, I'm not sure if it's the, um, the natural energy. They're here because this is where I get dressed in the morning and do my makeup and make smoothies and take my vitamins, but um, there's a natural energy and there's a metabolism boost floating around here somewhere. I'm torn between the two of those because there's coffee and caffeine in the both of them. And I have to tell you, okay, okay, last, last thing that I tell you about um, Aspira, but um, I've been working on a project and I've been up until like 2 a.m. working on it most nights. I get up again at 6 a.m. so I'm getting like very little sleep. So <laughs> three to four hours of sleep per night. And um, I didn't realize it, but um, I was I was taking the metabolism boost and <laughs> I think with Jessica. I, Jessica and then my sister were like, okay, there's caffeine in here. And I was like, oh, that's why I don't feel exhausted. Because a few weeks ago, I was doing the same thing up until 2 or 3 a.m. And I think it was like a Thursday night, the Friday night when I got to work. I, by like 10.30, I felt like my face was dragging on the floor. I could barely make it home. And then when I got home, I was like, I just, I can't function I was I haven't crashed like that usually it would take like a week for me to get to that point where I crashed I was like oh my gosh I'm getting old I can't do all-nighters like I used to when I was in high school but this week I've been taking the um the metabolism boost and I've been you know still I just fall into this habit I do my best work at night so I'm up at night working getting very little sleep and the next day I don't need to have coffee guys 
I have not had a cup of coffee for days, which is really weird for me. So, I mean, when I tell you I'm excited about these products and that they work, I am excited about them and they work. So, um, Miss Demetra said she hasn't tried them yet, but she's going to order in T3. Um, she wants vanilla. She's not chocolate, not the chocolate as of yet. But yeah, go for the vanilla. I feel like you can't go wrong with the vanilla. I've mixed it in a variety of smoothies um, from like kale and vegetable smoothies to um, like, um, what do you call it, pineapples, citrus, like orange smoothies. And it always just gives it like a, a creamy flavor. It's really creamy, um, which is why I like to mix it with um, even like the chocolate in my, my coffee smoothies. It, it gives you a really rich, creamy taste. So um, I like that. It's not, I've tried some other protein powders where it tasted like I, I ground up fiber and so, yes, excited about Aspira. So, um, the cleanse, Avon Calling, and there was one more, but now I'm all excited about these two that I, I completely forgot what that other one was. But um, I will remember and come back to it to to tell you about it a little bit later on. Um, so, why don't we go ahead and dive in, since I don't see any wins for the week, guys. <laughs> Alright, so today I wanted to share some some tips to help you with building your business um and I, I i was kind of going through this week oh here it is this is the third one <laughs> so i was going through this week and um for the new year i really wanted to re-engage especially my new representatives so um i find that when you're a rep that's been around for a while it's easy to forget what it's like when you're getting started and um i like to work with new representatives because it it forces me to to kind of take a step back and look at everything because a lot of times when you've been around for a while it's like okay we're launching a sparrow we're doing a new uh, a capsule collection um plus there's you know learning how to manage social, social media um how to promote your business um how to deal with customers and then for a new rep there's a whole new level of just learning the business so i love to work with the new representatives and i love to connect with you guys because i it reminds me of you know it reminds me to, to slow it down and to to go step by step. And um, I was sharing with a few new representatives this past weekend um, the importance of doing the trainings, doing the workshops, you know, just getting plugged in because that's where you learn the key stuff that's going to help you build your business. And I was saying, you know, when I talk, I there's like it's like Avon speak. I, I know. I know the products. If if you tell me you have a skincare skincare concern, I can usually rattle off a couple of products that I think might work, um, you know, for different things. But it's not because I, I sat and studied the brochure. It's because I use the stuff myself. <laughs> it's because I've I've taken feedback from customers, um, and it, it's it's stuff that's been developed over a long course of time. So I, I've been kind of going back these last two weeks to to go through and go through some of my old notes from when I first got started as a representative. Some of the things that stood out to me that I had to highlight, um, things that maybe now I take for granted that I, I don't really think about, um, like the process of of putting together your order you know now we say you know you put together your order it's something I could do probably with my eyes closed but for a new rep there's understanding your invoice and um, learning how to write up the order form and, and calculate the sales tax unless you live in Delaware in which case I'm mad at you and the fact that you don't have to pay tax uh, <laughs> but um the, the idea of working with helpers and um, just you know that and the, the initial steps of growing your customer base. So when I was going through that, I said, you know, this would be something that would be good to share on a chat because a lot of times we, we talk about the big picture ideas, which is, you know, your goal setting. And, um, and I will quickly say, you know, do the action steps. But I kind of wanted to take this chat to, to flesh out some of those action steps a little bit more and um, kind of talk to you a little bit more about what I mean when I say action steps and why they are so important because... Um, I, I realized the other day, I, I spoke with a rep and I was saying, you know, what are your your action steps? And we kind of glossed over and I didn't really get an answer. And time passed and she was telling me again, um, she reached out to me again and she was saying that um, she was having some trouble 
with um, you know just those initial steps in getting her business started and I was like okay well how are your action steps going and you know this is a couple of weeks maybe two or three weeks had passed between, between my first conversation where I said you know set up your, your daily action steps and let me know how it goes and we didn't hear from I didn't hear from her for a while and then she responded to a text and she was like oh you know um, still having these, these problems and I was like okay how are the action steps going? And she said to me, what do you mean by action steps? What are those? And I was like, oh, okay, backtrack. <laughs> let's, let's step back and, and, and talk about this. Because in our discussions, we talk about getting the brochures out there and reaching out to new customers. And I, I realized that I was here and I was trying to explain here I shouldn't do levels. I was here and I was trying to explain here, but she was here. So I, I wanted to go back and, and, you know, bring her up to the point where she had daily, like specific things that she was doing to build her business, because that was the only way that she was going to get closer to her goals. And that was the only way that she could, um, track and measure, measure her progress, because that was another thing that, um, we're, I was realizing with talking with Jess and other representatives that you could be having success, but if, and I'll be honest with you, this is actually a struggle, something that I've been struggling with myself these last couple of weeks because, and I was, it was Milagros too that I was sharing this with, that sometimes I'm, I frustrate myself because I want to be here and I'm here, but I'm, I'm so focused on this gap that I don't see how far I've come. Um, so when you you have steps and and a specific amount of things that you're doing daily or weekly that you can, it's almost to the point where you can check it off. Like I did this X, Y, and Z today. On um, Friday, I'm gonna do this from this time to that time. At the end of the week, I can look back and see what I've done and almost added up like I did five of these, three of these, two of those, like it's math. Like, I mean, tangible, specific things. So I'm going to share just a couple today because there are so many, but I want to kind of get your, um, get your, your thoughts flowing so that you have some stuff that you can do. So the first thing I, I, I recommend is I mentioned this a couple of times. I'm big on journaling, not so much like the diary of Anne Frank type of journaling because I'm terrified that somebody will read my private thoughts when I'm dead and publish another book. So I'm not, when I say journaling, I don't mean journaling like, you know, Jimmy Fallon. Today I woke up and I had some Aspira protein powder in my shake. I took the train, da 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 I mean journaling like, okay, here's my action plan for today from 8.30 to, to 8, I don't know, 8.30 to 8.45. I have 15 minutes to call one of the reps on my team. From 9 to 1 o'clock, I'm working. From 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, I'm going to do my power hour. Again, a broad term, what does that mean? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to call as many leads that I can within that time frame. My goal is to call at least five. Or um, my goal is to reach out to three or four of the representatives on my team. So, you know, I can um, work with and train those representatives. From 2 to 5, I'm back at work. From 5 to 6, I'm on the train. From 6 to 7, I am making dinner. From 7 to 8, I'm going to call representatives again. These are the reps that I need to speak to. Um, and then from 9 to 10, I'm going to work on my block. So you have a calendar blocked out. Now, I know some of you guys are not... Um, maybe your, your schedule isn't so time-specific, and that is okay. We can also do, you know, goals for today. I'm going to talk to five people about the Avon opportunity. I have three customers to call. I am going to um, to deliver two orders. And, you know, you make that list. And it's something that you could look at. And again, at the end of the day, tabulate, calculate, and see your progress for the day and then over the course of the week. Because I found um, when I was in school, I, my memory is fleeting. It's just, I've had a little old lady's memory for, since I was five. But, <laughs> except if you do something to me and I'm mad, then I'll remember it until I die, until the day I die. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I realize that if I write something down, 
it's better for me. If I try to keep it up here and try to juggle everything that I'm doing in my life and in my brain, I will, I'll forget stuff. So I found when I was in school, I wrote everything down. Homework, assignments, due dates, deadlines, appointments. I had everything in a planner and I didn't miss deadlines because I was terrified of funking out of school and missing <laughs> my appointments for class. But then when I graduated, I lost that. And I started to see a decline in my life and in my business in terms of me for not just forgetting stuff, but in my efficiency. Because I had in my mind that I needed, that I had to do this much. But I didn't really connect it to a time. So I was always, always running, always behind because I was like, yeah, I can do these 10 things in the 20 minutes that I have, knowing full well that one of those things <laughs> will actually take me half an hour. I'm not going to lie to you, it's something that I'm still working on now, but when I put it to paper and I, I can look at it, I can kind of gauge and say, okay, look, I need to deliver this order. My calendar has 20 minutes. It takes me 30 minutes just to get to her house. This is not going to work right now. <laughs> so things like that, it helps when it's on paper. And the second reason I encourage you to put it on paper is so that at the end of the week or at the end of the month, or at the end of the year, it's easier for you to go back and say, okay, on this day, I had set out to do these five things, and I got two of them done. What happened? What went wrong? Did something interrupt? What was the cause of this? Do I have a pattern of setting out five things to do and only accomplishing one? Or do I have a pattern of setting out five things to do, doing all five things, and, um, you know, maybe I'm not doing them efficiently or not seeing any results on them, or maybe I did them and I got them done, you know, maybe for this week, I did all the five things that I had to do and I got them done and I saw progress, but the following week, I kind of fell off. What happened? So when you start to set up your, your, your checkpoints and you can look back at the summary of a day, at the summary of a week and compare two weeks to a month to, to two months, you start to be able to measure your progress better. So let's go back to action steps. So basically when I say action steps, it, they are what they sound like. Steps of actions that you're taking. But um, I think where people sometimes get lost with the idea of action steps is, um, you know, what specifically do I have to do? Um, what What is it that, how should I say this, um, what is it that I, like how do I do it? But I find not so much do people wonder like getting brochures out. You know in order to get your brochures out you have to talk to other people. But we get hung up on, well, do I toss them? Do I, I speak to people? Do I do samples? Do I put the samples in the catalog? Do I have a separate sample pack? Do I have a separate brochure? And then we we nitpick and we, we break it down to the point where nothing gets done. Or we have um, our goal. We know what we need to do, which is maybe find customers. But without that daily set of steps that we're doing, because you can give brochures out to your blue in the face, but if you don't follow up with customers, or if customers call you and you don't call them back, you know, it kind of fall, the, the, um, the network that you weave starts to fall apart. So when I say action steps, it's not just do this one thing and call it a day. I'm talking about a series of things that are interconnected, interwoven, that you're, you're putting together to build your business. So um, I'm going to take the, the business building example of looking for customers. Basically, looking for customers is networking. It's getting out there and connecting with other people. How do you do that? Um, first and foremost, you might even want to make a list for this too. Be conscious of all of the places that you're going. Um, when I first started, my, my big thing was I don't know a lot of people and I don't really go to a lot of places. Even to this day, I'm not really like an out type of person. But when I sat down and, and you know looked over my day and said, what is it that I'm doing? At that time, I was taking a bus to a train to another train. <laughs> so <laughs> three sets of people already that I was um, encountering. Um, I would get to school, walk past security, um, sit, walk past all the classes. Um, I would go to my first class. Come out of my first class, I would go to the, the deli. Um, 
or cafe for lunch. I would come back to what we would call like student union, like a, a place to relax, or I would go to the library and then I would go through all these other classes to get to my other class. So in the same way, in our days, we have those same series of steps. You get up in the morning, do you drive to work? Okay, you're driving to work, maybe you're not seeing other people in the car. Do you stop and get gas? Do you stop and get coffee? Um, do you have people um, that you're, you're, I don't know, I find like when you're commuting at the same time, you, you get to know the people around you. Um, and I remember when we were younger, we drove to school as, um, like through elementary school, through high school, we drove. Well, my mom drove, but um, <laughs> it wasn't around myself. But um, we got to know some of the other drivers. They had um, decals and decals on their cars that, that separated them from other people. Does your car have Avon stickers? Does it have brochures? Um, does it have anything that... that makes you stand out. Even if it's a bumper sticker saying my child was student of the month at whatever place, it's something that separates you from other people. You might be surprised. There might be other drivers. If you're on the road with them every day, they know you. And even to this day, I was thinking there are some vehicles. The other day I saw a vehicle very elaborately decorated with, you know, American flags all over the place horns. Um, but it was a distinct vehicle. And every morning we were on the road with that same vehicle. The other day, I, I remembered it again, and I just happened to, um, I don't know why, why it came out of the blue, but I remembered it, and I remembered the, they had a sticker saying, like, where they worked, and now that I'm older and I'm driving, I know where that location is, you know, that could be a place where I go and I strike up a conversation about, you know, that experience as a kid. Um, so, really sit down and go through your day. Okay, so you drive to work. You go into your building, you pass security, you go to the ladies' room at the lunch break, um, you maybe go for coffee down at the deli, um, or even if you are not a person who doesn't go for coffee at the deli regularly, maybe your co-workers go. Maybe this is the time for you to say, you know what, today I'm going to take a walk to the deli. Um, go through your schedule and find, try to think of places and people that you see on the day-to-day -day basis that you can, you can talk to. And then connect with them. Start off, you know, you may not in the beginning start off with the whole, hey, you know, I'm an Avon representative. I sell Avon. Would you like to start my business? Um, would you like to become a representative? And, you know, have your whole spiel about all the products. Maybe it's a simple thing as just establishing, hi, hello, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Every day until the point where it's like, oh, you know, did you read the paper today? And now we're starting to talk about world affairs. Or um, I saw the other day you were work walking with a little girl. Is that your granddaughter? Is that your daughter? Oh, you were just, you know, they were just visiting from Carolina where your, your children live. Have you ever been? And you start to build and develop the relationship. So it's really just, just talking. Start off with hello if you don't know what to say. Um, eventually you'll work yourself up to... Um, I, you know, by the way, I've got an Avon catalog here. Would you like to, to see one? Or what do you do? I see you passing every day at 8 a.m. What, what is it that you, you do for a living? Oh, you're a doctor. Oh, you're a lawyer. Oh, you're a security person. Oh, you're a school crossing guard. Well, I'm an Avon representative. Boom. You, you got your foot in the door. It's just establishing that relationship. It's really building relationships and just talking to people. You go to the Starbucks every day, it's the same kid serving you the coffee. Stop and ask them how his day is going, you know, how his morning is. I know especially in the morning it can be kind of rushed. Me, I, I, I tend to find it easier to insert a joke um, just to, you know, break the ice and break the, the momentum of people just having their heads down. So it's just starting that initial conversation. Um, so when I say action steps, what is your, your week looking like? What is your schedule for your week looking like? Where are the places that you're going? For the days that you're out talking to people, how many people do you think you could get a conversation going with for those days? So you're stopping at the gas station, you're stopping at the Starbucks, you're um, passing the person in the, the toll booth, you are walking past security and a couple of classes. So those are going to be the five places that you talk to on the, sec on the first day. What about on the second day? Where are you going to go? Like, where can you be intentional about connecting with people and, and striking up a conversation? So that at the end of the day, when you get home, you could look at your list and say, okay, today I set out to make a conversation with five new people and I did. Check. You have completed an action step. 
Another action step could be, you know, on a, a further spectrum of planning an event, um, inviting your guests to a, a sip and shop, an open house, um, even if it's just coffee, where you're putting out a couple of the brochures, a couple of products, and you and the girls are getting together for a conversation. How many of those are you planning for the week, planning for the month, planning for the quarter? Again, I did my, my open house this week. Check. Done. Um, an action step could be handing out brochures. Um, are we tossing? Are we going to the laundromat? The dry cleaners, the hair salon, the beauty salon. I had a list where I listed, I, I used like Google Maps. I pulled up the map. I searched salons within a, you know, a radius of my mom's job because at the time I wasn't driving. So I put in my mom's job and I searched in her neighborhood for the beauty salons, the barbershops, and um, now I don't have the list. But, uh, what was it? The beauty salons, the barbershops, the nail salons, and the bakeries. And I made a list of all the places and all the addresses, and I plotted points. And the day that I was off from school, I went to work with my mom, and I hit as many points as I could within walking distance. So a two-block strip, I did either side of the street. The following week, I did, in the opposite direction, a two-block strip on either side of the week. The week after that, I walked two blocks down. So I was able to, at the end of the month, say... Week one, I hit these four places. Week two, I hit these five places. Week three, I hit these six places. Now I'm going to go back and see if I can collect orders. Week one, I'm going back to, to place one. Week two, going back to where I did. So I had like a set of steps that I could work out. So this can be anything. It could be fundraisers. I found lists where I had made a list of um, schools in my area and I sat down and I called all of them and I made notes. And I had, like I would have the list and then a line drawn and the date. So I could see on Tuesday, February 23rd, I called these five places. Another line on Wednesday, February 24th, I called these places. And I was able to track that. So when I'm talking about action steps, go through um, our talks, our trainings, um, the Avon website, the Avon training and conference calls, the, the speeches and discussions that you hear from other reps, because everything I did was something, and everything I do now, to be honest with you, is something that someone else has done and tried and shared with me. And I said, okay, I'm gonna capture that, make it mine, and I'm gonna, you know, put it into my schedule. On Tuesday, between <laughs> this time and this time, I'm gonna do that. So when I, when we're, we're talking to you about setting your goals and having your corresponding list of action steps, these are the things that I'm talking about. But to take it one step further, you want to make sure that your action steps align with your goals. So if your goals are to raise X amount of funds, break it down and work backwards, you want to earn $600. By when? By the end of the month? Okay, so how much is that that you need to sell per week? Okay, you're going to say, now you know you only have four weeks, you're going to say, yeah, you know, I, I, let's start off with $400 for the month. Cool. So you know you need to sell $100 per week. All right, so that means that, um, let's say you're working six days a week, you take one day for yourself, three days, you have three days to, to sell $50. So when Wednesday comes, you get back to your book, okay, how am I doing? So far, I have $75. So far, I have $53. A lot of times when we're, I'm talking to representatives about incentives, I do a lot of calls. For me, personally, talk to my team, talking to other reps, hey, you know, how you doing? You're six away, six dollars away from hitting an incentive. What? I didn't know. What? There's an incentive? Huh? I'm like, yeah, you know that flyer that you got in your, your catalog? That, oh yeah, that blue thing with the boat on it? I didn't know what that was. Guys, it's business. You gotta be aware and be conscious of the, the opportunities that are available to you. So, your goal may or may not line up with an incentive that Avon is having. Oftentimes, Avon incentives line up with our sales and recruiting goals anyway. So a lot of times, you could check off and hit two or three things if you're planning properly. But you got to be aware of the incentive. you got to know what's happening to, to work, with, um, work backwards and create a plan for yourself. If you're kind of just flying by the seat of your pants, things don't just happen and things just don't fall together. And... When I talk to a lot of representatives, especially new reps, when and even like looking back at my notes and how I plan, even last year, 
there are things where I'm just like, you were so flying by the seat of your pants. You had no plan whatsoever for that. Or you had a plan and you weren't working on your plan. And that's why things were falling to channels. <laughs> so create your plan. Go step by step. And then you'll be able to measure your progress. Let's say you set a goal to do three people per week. And you find at the end of the week that you are still short of your goal. By analyzing that, you can see, okay, I did what I said I was going to do. I did the three people every day and I, I talked to all the people I said I was going to, but I was short of my goal. So next week, I'm going to try talking to five people. Try that and see how it goes. And then look back, okay, what was the difference between three and five people? Was the extra two people enough to make a huge difference, a significant difference in my, my sales or my recruiting? Or did it not? Did it, um, you know, was there something that was hindering me? Did I find when I looked at my schedule that I wasn't doing three people per day? I was doing 36 on the weekend. Did it work out better to have the 36 on the weekend than when I was doing the three per day? You know, you'll be able to analyze the, those things and really measure your progress as opposed to saying, oh, no, I did that Avon thing. It doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, I, I went out one day. I looked for customers. I didn't find any. It, it just it doesn't work. You know it when you're talking to new rep new representatives. You know that when you're talking to representatives, I know it and I catch myself doing it when I do it my for myself. So when you have your plan, you'll be able to measure properly. So set those action steps, be, have a clear picture, do a little journal, set it up for the week. What am I going to do today? What are the three things, three main things that I'm, I just have to finish today that are, are going to get me closer to my goal in my business? And in the evening when you get home, look at that list. Did I, was I honest with myself? Did I do what I, I set out to do? If not, why? What's my plan for tomorrow? Plan of attack at the end of the week. Okay, this week I plan to do these things. 15 things. I finished eight. What happened? <laughs> what can I do differently? Am I planning too much? Am I not allocating my time properly? Am I really efficient with these two things? Or am I wasting time with these 10 things? You'll be able to get a better idea of what you're doing and um, better be able to anticipate when you're tracking for incentives and um, you know working towards your goals because you, you'll have a, a more real realistic picture than, oh yeah, I'm making money or I'm not really making a lot of money. Well, what's a lot of money to you? And what does that look like? Are you, do you have... Do you not have a lot of customers, but the one customer you have is placing a $500 order? Uh, or do you have, uh, you know, a lot of customers, but you're not hitting the sales you want because each of them is placing 5 and $10 orders? You'll be able to know, okay, well, I need to work on increasing my order size per customer, or I need to work on increasing my customer base. These are the things that will help you evaluate that. And, and analyze so that you're not just saying at the end of the day, yeah, this works or this doesn't work, or I tried that and it didn't go well because I did it a day, you know? So um, that is my, those are my tips for having your action steps and how to leverage your action steps so that you're, you're, um, you're analyzing them in a way that will get you closer to your goals and so that you have enough in your schedule and the, sometimes I mean I know a lot of you are like ah, I have enough in my schedule already but you might have a lot of stuff in your schedule that's not really doing anything for your business so this will help you to analyze that and see you know what's productive what are action steps versus um, I guess what's the word what what term can I use um, not time wasters but time eaters they, 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 they just kind of absorb more of your time than they they need to um so look at that and give it a week this week today's tuesday so try doing it for wednesday thursday friday and do an evaluation for yourself on saturday next week tuesday let's get back together here and chat about um the results that you saw if you saw a difference if not and let's say monday night before we do the chat today do some analysis for yourself and see Look at what you did, what worked, and what didn't work, and try to come up with a plan for how you could change it for the following week. And we could get together here and we could, oh, shoot, no, next week is a sales meeting. So you have two weeks. This is why I was like, talk about it in the beginning, because you're going to forget. So we, we have two weeks to do it. So you have two weeks now to set up a plan 
test it out and um and develop some some key strategies and some key analysis you have two weeks to play around with this the following week the week of the 20 january 23rd not 16 <laughs> 23rd we'll get back here and we'll, we'll talk about that and we could talk about your progress but if you don't do it you're not gonna have anything to share and this is gonna be a really short short call so let's not have that happen okay guys so i'm looking forward to hearing from you guys two weeks two not one <laughs> have a great night guys and thank you again for joining me looking forward to seeing and hearing your success stories for next week and i will also have some stuff that i'll be sharing with you as well talk to you soon guys bye